Rock and Learn. Well, hello everyone. I am Mother Goose. My, it's good to see your bright, smiling faces. Brother Goose, I was just about to enjoy some of my favorite nursery rhymes with these boys and girls. Hey, Mother Goose, may I stick around and help you jazz up the nursery rhymes a little? Maybe even use a guitar? <laughs> of course you may. We will have lots of fun. Wow! Humpty Dumpty should have been more careful. Well, he shouldn't have been climbing up on high walls without an adult there to watch him in the first place. That's important for these boys and girls to remember. You know, Mother Goose, the other day I wrote a rhyme about ways to be careful. We need to be careful when we have fun. Remember. But only cross the street when you have permission. We need to be careful when we have fun. Remember these rhymes and tell everyone. Brother Goose, that is a terrific rhyme to remember. You can feel good about yourself because you know how to be careful. I want to remember that rhyme and teach it to my friends. Well, hello, Sister Goose. It's nice to see you. Brother Goose and I have been teaching our new friends some nursery rhymes about being safe. <laughs> we used to say this rhyme together when we were putting things away. Oh, yes. I like this one. Once three little kittens lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, oh mother dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. What? They found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What? You found your mittens? You put little kittens, then you shall have some pie. Meow, 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 meow. The three little kittens put on. be a good rhyme when boys and girls help with the laundry. I always appreciate your help around the house. When we work together, we have more time to do fun things together, too. This old woman needed to ask the children to help her out around the shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. 
She gave them some jam to go with their bread Then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed There was an old woman who lived in a shoe She had so many children, she didn't know what to do She gave them some jam to go with their bread Then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed Woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some jam to go with their bread, then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hey, I know a rhyme about a girl who had a lamb for a pet. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day, it followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play, it made the children laugh and play to see a lamb.
This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door. With a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Six. He played knick-knack on my sticks with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven. He played knick-knack up in heaven with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight. He played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine. He played knick-knack on my spine With a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone This old man came rolling home This old man, he played ten He played knick-knack once again With a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone This old man came rolling home Have you heard the rhyme that helps you remember how many days are in each month? No, we never learned that one. Well, I'll teach you. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, excepting February alone. And that has 28 days clear, and 29 in each leap year. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. Wow, that's really neat. To learn something new every day. That's the truth. My friends and I used to teach each other rhymes all of the time. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see how many of those rhymes we can remember? Here is a rhyme that is kind of a riddle. As I was going to say knives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kits. Kits, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to say knives? As I was going to say knives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kits. Kits, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to St. Ives? One! You are so smart. That's right. Only one person was going to St. Ives. Let's sing that rhyme that teaches what some of the animals say. <laughs> Bow Wow says the dog, Mew Mew says the cat, Grunt Grunt goes the hog, and Squeak goes the rat, too. Who says the owl? Caw Caw says the crow, Quack Quack says the duck, and what cuckoo say you know? Cuckoo! Bow Wow says the dog, Mew Mew says the cat, Grunt Grunt goes the hog, and Squeak goes the rat, too. Who says the owl? Caw Caw says the crow, Quack Quack says the duck, and what cuckoo say you know? Cuckoo! Here's a rhyme about a clock. Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Hickory dickory dock the mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory dickory duck Jack and Jill went up the hill To fetch a pail of water Jack fell down and broke his crown And Jill came tumbling after Up Jack got and home did trot As fast as he could caper 
went to bed to mint his head with vinegar and brown paper. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Sing a song of six pins, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Now wasn't that a dainty dish to send before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came along a black bird and pecked off her nose. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Now wasn't that a dainty dish to send before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came along a black bird and pecked off her nose. Those blackbirds remind me of a fun rhyme we used to say as we played with our thumbs. Oh, yes. Everyone put your thumbs out in front of you and pretend they are little blackbirds. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back. Two little blackbirds sitting on a gate One named early and the other named late Fly away early, fly away late Come back early, come back late Two little blackbirds sitting in the snow One named high and the other named low Fly away high, fly away low Come back high Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Tweedledee, Tweedledee, went his fiddlers three, and so merry we will be. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. The dish is not what runs away in this next nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Brother Goose, some spiders look kind of scary, but they are good to have in gardens because they eat bugs. That's right, Sister Goose. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite content. 
contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Jack likes to play games, but he's also a hard worker. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. Come on, come on, I said. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. That's what I said. Ooh. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. You see, Sister Goose, it is important to work some and play some. Yes, I know, Mother Goose. Speaking of work, I have spent all day looking for Lucy's pocket. Her pocket? How could she lose her pocket? Well, Lucy calls her purse her pocket. Lucy Luck has lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Lucy Luck has lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Remember the rhyme we used to say on the way to the market? <gasps> to, to market, to market! To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Here's a rhyme that's fun to say when you play with your toes. <laughs> Sweet, pick, 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 pick. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried, wee, 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 all the way home. <laughs> this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. I'm thinking of another rhyme we can say as we pat our hands together. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll 
cool it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters If you have no daughters, give them to your sons But if you have none of these little elves You will have to eat them all yourselves Hot cross buns, hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters If you have no to your sons, but if you have none of these little elves, you will have to eat them all yourselves. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Rhymes about food and supper make me think of a boy who liked to eat Christmas pie. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I. Little Jack Horner sat in a Jack Sprat could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. Jack Sprat could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. Dream. And I like to dream of visiting far-off places, like Tibet or London. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars, my fair lady. Iron bars will bend and break, bend and break. Needles and pins, needles and pins, build it up with needles and pins, my fair lady. Pins and needles, rust and bend, rust and bend, rust and bend. Pins and needles, rust and bend, my fair lady. Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Gold and silver, I've not got. I've 
I've not got, I've not got gold and silver. I've not got my fair lady. Take the key and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate a bar of soap, and now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. I had a little turtle, I kept him in a box He swam through the puddles, he climbed upon the rocks He snapped at a mosquito, he snapped at a flea He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me He caught the mosquito, he caught the flea He caught the minnow but he didn't catch me Snap, snap, snap Snap, 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 you can't catch me. Snap, 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 you can't catch me. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim He drank up all the water, he ate a bar of soap And now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat Bubble, 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 bubble Bubble, 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 pop Bubble, 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 bubble Bubble, bubble, bubble Bubble, bubble, pop. You should also work for the things you really want. After we watch the stars, Brother Goose and Sister Goose usually head for the bathtub. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? 
butcher, de baker, de candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? De butcher, de baker, de candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Taking a bath is always so fun. Yeah, and I had all kinds of fun toys to play with in the bathtub. Me too. You never had to ask us twice to go take a bath, Mother Goose. Oh, I know. That was so nice. Besides being fun. Baths help us stay clean. Say, do you remember that rhyme I used to tell you when I helped you get ready for bed, Brother Goose? Oh yeah, it was called Diddle Diddle Dumpling. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John went to bed with the stockings on, one shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his stockings on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Mother Goose, you always told us the reason that we needed to go to bed was so we would have energy for the next day. That's right, Sister Goose. Remember the rhyme about the boy who didn't get enough sleep? Little boy, do come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Little boy. You two always went straight to bed after that rhyme, so you would have enough energy to play, and so you wouldn't fall asleep at school. I remember Mother Goose, but wasn't there another rhyme you would tell us at bedtime too? I think it was called Wee Willy Winky. That's right. Wee Willy Winky runs to the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, nothing at the window. My goodness, it's our bedtime too. Let's listen to my favorite lullaby. Rockabye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Rockabye baby. The tree top. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Sweet dreams, children.